Minister within the Ministry of Housing and Water, Suzanne Rodriguez, on Wednesday held an outreach in Region 2, Pomeroon, Supernam, to distribute land titles to 48 residents of Lima Sands, Esucubo. In her address to the residents, Rodriguez said from 2020 to date, the government has already distributed 706 house lots in the region. She said the demand is higher for the regularization of untitled lands and the issuance of titles when compared to people wanting house lots. We are almost up to date with our house lot application and allocation program in this region. We don't have people with long-standing applications in this region. But predominantly the work that the Ministry of Housing has to do in this region is to ensure that people are regularized where they are living and that we issue them their ownership documents. Roderick said the government is ready to process land titles for areas within Lima Sand, such as Henry Tuck, Hampton Court and Coffee Grove. As such, he urged persons who have not received their certificate of titles for their lands to apply now so that they can receive it within weeks. In this region, many people have their homes, but they don't have the ownership. And some people have ownership and some people don't have homes. So we are ensuring through the ministry that we're able to fix all of these issues and to be able to empower people uh, through home ownership and land ownership. According to Rodriguez, oftentimes homeowners experience difficulties to qualify for a mortgage to construct their homes. She said the steel and cement subsidy is geared to remedy this hindrance. Today, the program has seen over 1,300 applications, 700 of which were approved. Another 79 were handed over to residents of Region 2 on Wednesday. The government of Guyana, the president of Guyana, and the Ministry of Housing is always working to ensure that we remove all of the hurdles and all of the impediments from people achieving their dream of home ownership. And so even with the steel and cement subsidy, that is what we aim to help people with. To those who receive land titles said it's a guarantee that their land are now secure, while beneficiaries of the steel and cement subsidy said they can now commence construction. Well, I've waited um, almost 11 years to get this, and today I'm extremely excited um, to be the owner of a land. Uh, well, you know, a land will actually give you um, a lot of opportunities. I could go and take a loan now and, and commence my construction and so on. Well, I feel proud and I must thank the minister and her staff for doing such good work because it got people waiting much more longer than this. Yeah, and I'm very grateful. In addition to housing, there has been massive infrastructural development in the region with some $3.5 billion invested so far for community enhancement of some 122 roads throughout the region and other projects. Reporting for the newsroom, Shardabakas.